So I didn't win the election, but I definitely learned some great lessons and reinforced some things that I already believed. And the first thing is that as a man, you have to chase goals, right? So men are judged based on what value they bring to society. That's how it's always been. So I think a lot of times when, you know, we get into a routine, we don't take calculated risks. Like we don't try anything new. This was the first time in a long time where I wasn't, you know, at the very least educated in what was going on. Like I was the novice in this, right? I didn't know the way things worked. But that's how it's supposed to be. You need to go into different areas of life and test yourself and then see. Uh, and I think the biggest thing is, though, even though I didn't win, I was definitely a great candidate. I think that because I ran independent, which I totally loved, it did put you at a slight disadvantage because there's in the party system, which I think we should do away with. But in the party system, the Republicans and Democrats, there's a team, right? An interesting story on election day. You know, the Republicans, Democrats, uh, rightfully so, had multiple people with them, the candidates, and I'm there holding my sign uh, by myself and totally got sunburned, which you will see, because I was standing outside for about 11, 12 hours. No joke. And the day before, uh, I knew I had some ground to make up, so I went walking for about seven hours. So I, I really learned that, like, you need to put yourself out of the comfort zone, but it also reinforced the discipline that I had, I, the discipline that I learned from the martial arts and took over into my life. So I took that over into PT school, which we did a video on that, but now business, but now also in this new endeavor, right? So it really kind of reinforced, wow, I am disciplined to do this. I'd never been asked to do anything like that, right? I never had to walk for seven hours. I never stood out from 6.45 in the morning to 7.30ish at night, didn't leave, held the sign. So I, I really learned that life is about taking those risks and learning from them. The biggest thing is that it's all perspective because when you lose, and, and as an aside, I think losing was one of the best things for me as a person because I haven't lost in a while like that. And you do learn more, more lessons. You have more self-reflection when you do lose than when you win. And here's a tidbit. You got to lose first so you can win later on, right? When you first start something, you're not going to be good. You're probably not going to win right away. But now you build your foundation, right? Whether it's whatever we're doing new, playing guitar, learning martial arts, you have to build the foundation first. And at first, you're going to stink, right? But then you get better. But it's also about the perspective. So how are you seeing this, right? And for me, I always like to try to believe that everything that happens will turn out for the best later on. And in some instances, or a lot of instances, you can't see what that best version is, right? We have an idea, but the universe really knows the best way for us to go and guides us there. So our part in that is just by perception and our perspective, okay, this is how it was supposed to work out so we can get bigger and better later on. So it was a great experience for me. I met a lot of great people. Uh, I liked both candidates on both sides. Oh, there's actually three candidates. Uh, and I did like them. I had conversations with most of them. But it's like, where do you go from here? And I think that after you do lose, you need to step back, take a couple of weeks, and then plan your next move. People ask me, would I run again? We'll have to see. But the lessons that I learned is that my discipline is still there. It's probably better than ever. And now I can bring that back to my business. It's keeping the perspective of this will work out. This is the best possible way this could have turned out so we can be better later on. And it's just knowing that it's okay to fail. It's okay to test yourself because... You know, I read the quote and I'm, I might mix this up a little bit, but it was like, you know, a man has two lives and the second starts when he realizes he has just one. And that's from Confucius. So really saying like, okay, we have this one life. We only have this one life. And when we realize that we need to do the things that make us happy, we need to follow our passions. We need to take risks, right? We don't we want to play it safe in a sense, but you, you got to step out of your comfort zone. And that's what I did with this election going into politics. I'm so excited about it because I feel like with my vibration, my personality, I can bring something to a political atmosphere where it's more happy. It's more like for the people. And again, this isn't against anybody or any party. It's just that I know what I bring to the table and I know my intention. And I'm excited about in the future, if I choose to go that route, really making a difference.